guys, welcome back. So today I filmed for you an olive green kind of eye. I've never done an olive look on my channel before, so I decided it was time. I didn't know if people would be wearing like prom olive dresses, but hey, if you are, this would be perfect for it. Um, but I love olive eyes. I think it's just so stunning. And of course, I did it with like a warm crease. Um, so if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. All right, so starting off this makeup look, I do have my eyebrows and a little bit of my foundation on. I'm just going in with this Fufu Cosmetics eyeshadow base. I love this base. It's the perfect, like, kind of skin tony base. Um, and I did make sure that I set it with a powder so it wasn't tacky. And then going into my Anastasia Single Eyeshadow Palette. I love my little palette. I'm just taking the color Orange Soda on a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I do put this in a couple of times just to deepen up that color because I want it to be pretty pretty vibrant as the transition shade and then going in with the color Morocco on a Sigma E25 blending brush. It's a little more um, like thin and it kind of does more crease work for me um, but it is a nice blending brush so I'm just putting it on the tip of my brush and kind of blending it into the crease and then once it's kind of in the place that I want it I tilt my brush to the side to kind of help the blending process and then I go back in with this E40 blending brush just to make sure all of the edges are nicely blended. So since we are going in with a pretty deep green color, I do want to make sure that the crease is nice and pigmented and nice and like deep. So going in with this new Makeup Forever Aqua a, um, XL eyeliner thing, I'm using the olive green color and I'm just putting it all over my eyelid as a base for the olive green eyeshadow. So it was kind of hard to blend out, but I did want some type of greeny base so the green really stood out. And then going in with this Fufu Cosmetics Quad, this beautiful green shade I'm obsessed with this green shade it is like the perfect color and I'm just putting this all over my eyelid with a synthetic brush uh, this color went on really really smoothly and then I am going in with the tapered eye brush from Sigma the e45 uh, brush just to make sure that all of the edges are nicely blended into the crease because we do not want any harsh edges and then taking the color fudge by Anastasia and that same e45 like tapered brush I'm just going to be deepening up that crease even more because that Morocco shade just wasn't deep enough for me so I'm just focusing this on the kind of outer V and then putting most of my color there and then I'm going to be dragging it into the crease kind of almost as you see here almost all the way to the front or like the inner part of my crease um, but I don't want it to be too dark so I am going to go back in with my E25 blending brush just to make sure that the edges are nice and seamless and I do have just a little bit of that Morocco shade on my brush as well just to make sure it blends nice and easily. And then just always make sure you go back in with your big fluffy blending brush. Once again, this is the Sigma E40. And I do have a coupon code for Sigma for 10% off if you just use the code Courtney. These are like the best brushes ever. But I'm just going in with a little bit of that orange soda again. And then going in with the like this thin, precise crease kind of brush. It's very thin. It's the E36. And I'm just putting a little bit of fudge on that because I wanted it to get even more intensely just into that crease area. Then going back in with the E25 brush just to make sure the edges are blended. I did. So with all of the crease blending, I lost a little bit of my green eyeshadow. So I went back in just with my finger and I put it all over my lid. And I actually liked how it applied better with my finger than with the brush. And then in that same quad, I'm just using that really light colored shade and putting it on my brow bone. And then taking my Sigma Wicked Gel Liner and my Sigma E06 Liner Brush. This is the best liner brush. If you struggle with gel liner, you need to get this brush and it will like solve all of your problems. Um, and I'm just giving myself not a huge wing, but you know, a good sized wing. And then just giving myself a couple coats of mascara. This is the Smashbox X-Rated Mascara. I really, really like this. And then going in with my Hypnoti Lashes in the style Hypnoti, I think. Um, and then just going right into color correcting. This is the Light Peach Shade by Smashbox. I have been obsessed with this. It's just so super simple when needing to cover up anything underneath there. <laughs> and I'm just going to dampen that out with my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. And this is my NARS Radiant Concealer in the color Custard. And I'm just putting in all the places that I normally do so underneath my eyes in the middle of my face down the bridge of my nose on my forehead and my chin you know the drill And 
then I got this little Clinique chubby stick kind of thing foundation and I'm just gonna use this to contour today it's a nice warm shade and I like a nice warm bronzy face as we all know so I'm just putting this on the outside of my face and then I'm going to be blending it in with these amazing shop Stila brushes I will leave the link for these down below they're just like the artiste brushes except a lot more inexpensive but they do the exact same thing and they're amazing at blending out anything anyways so I'm just blending uh, my contour in first because sometimes when I do my concealer first it gets the bronzer everywhere and it just doesn't work so I like to do my contour or like bronziness first and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender just to um, blend out the concealer and I'm just putting it in like dabbing motions you never want to like rub it against your skin you just want to dab it or you're gonna move it around from where you put it and you want it in the area that you put it Alright, and then to set my concealer, you guessed it, I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and this is the Sigma Tapered Brush. I never know what it's called. I don't know why I don't look it up before I do this. And I'm just putting that powder everywhere I put the concealer, and then taking my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the color Medium Golden with this amazing brush. I will leave this down below as well, the Chevron brush, and I'm just putting it all over my face to set my foundation. And then going in with that lower lash line, I'm just taking that same color Morocco that we put into our crease, and I'm just going to be smoking that out on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to be taking a more precise like brush, I don't like a flat definer brush, and I'm going to take that color fudge, and I'm going to put that right into the lower lash lines, right up into those lashes, just to deepen it up a little bit in there. And then I'm going to be taking the color orange soda that we had as the transition shade at the top, and I'm just going to use that to blend out the bottom, and I am just still using that E. 45 like tapered brush to blend out that lower lash line because I want it to look almost identical to the top except obviously it doesn't have any green um, but I want it to be nice and smoked out and then just giving my lower lashes a little bit of love with mascara and then using that same makeup forever eyeliner I'm just putting that into my waterline and then moving on to bronzer my favorite I am going in with the NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm just putting this everywhere on my face that I like to be bronze as you know basically everywhere And for blush, sticking with the bronzy theme, I'm going in with Dallas by Benefit. This is one of my all-time favorite blushes. It is so gorgeous, and I'm using the Morphe E4 brush. I think that's E4. And then going in with the You Do You highlighter by Ofra. This is an amazing highlighter. It's so pigmented and so gorgeous with this Sigma highlighter for a rush. This is the F03. And then going back in with that same quad we used earlier, I'm just taking that same shade that we used on our brow bone and putting that into my inner corner so it's nice and glowy. And then going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Candy K lip liner. I love this lip liner. I'm obsessed with it. It's my favorite totally and filling it in with the pencil as well because I'm gonna go in with one of her lip glosses and the lip gloss I'm going in with is the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss in the color literally now I was one of those like first couple people that got there so my wand is all messed up but you know it's okay All right, guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like how it turned out. Let me know your thoughts down below. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.